In this situation, we have got three documents. We've got the statement to police. We've got the pretrial witness statement and we've got the transcript from the court. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new blank document. This will be my working document. Then I'll click on multi-doc. Then I will go to my folder and I'll select all three documents. Now, if I go down to our discussion assistant here, I can type or I can dictate to it. But I prefer dictating because it's much faster. I have given you three documents. I've given you a statement to police. I've given you the pre-trial transcript and I've given you the transcript from the actual trial. So I want you to go through all three documents in high detail, paying attention to all of the facts, figures, parties involved. And I want you to extract all of the details relating to the matter that are conflicting. I want you to find any inconsistencies in the witness's statement between all three. If this is something that you would do on a regular basis, you could save this over here by clicking here. And I've got that saved for later where I can click on this one thing and it will run the request. We can see that the arrival time was incorrect. The observed argument. We can see the description. Quite dark, reasonably well lit. Okay, so I won't go through everything here. Now, if I want to create a document from those inconsistencies, I can simply click on this button here. It will create a new document for you, which you can then export as a docs or a PDF. So if I continue to scroll down, you'll see that the AI suggests questions that I could ask the AI to interrogate the documents further. Could the varying descriptions of light conditions outside influence how much the witness could actually see during the incident? Of course, we probably already know the answer to this question, but we just like to demonstrate how easy it is to help your thinking process walk through this. And so now we've got a good reply back here. Now I want to ask the AI to help me draft my final address. Of course, I'm not going to copy and paste this, but it will get me a good start. Fantastic. Now I want you to take all of the information and I want you to help me draft my final address. I want you to position it in such a way that it will discredit this witness's credibility and that nothing they say could be relied upon accurately. Okay, we've got our final address drafted here. Of course, we did not give any clear instruction as to the format or structure that we wanted. We could have specified the structure and how we would like to approach it. If you've got a particular way that you would structure your final address, I could now create a new document from here if I would like. What I can also do is insert that text into the document that we're working on. I'll close that. And now you can see that I've got my final address here. Then I can go and export to doc or PDF. 